All right, so this video is long overdue, and I apologize to that for the person who I promised to make it for. Uh, unfortunately, due to getting pretty sick over the last month, uh, it is COVID season, um, I was set back. But here it goes. I'm going to be showing you the easiest way how to adapt a chainsaw or small engine to start using a drill. Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating this on a Husqvarna 3120 XP. It's a, quite a beastly chainsaw. This thing has an engine of, I believe, 113 cc. And I uh, figured this out because it was just killing me pulse starting this thing every time. First thing you need to do is remove the flywheel cover and the re recoil starter. Um, it should have some uh, pawls here that catch on to the recoil starter. And you'll want to measure the space that's required on these to uh, know what size hole to drill in the side of the fly flywheel cover where the recoil starter is. Now, there's a few tricks that you'll want to be aware of when you're drilling this hole. First thing, you'll want to make sure it's centered. Normally, where this hole is, there's going to be a center post uh, for the recoil starter to sit around. And that center post is almost always metal, whereas the rest of the flywheel cover is going to be plastic. So as you're drilling that, just watch out. Um, if you're using a Forstner bit or a wood boring bit, that works fine for the plastic. But if you hit that metal with it, most of them don't handle so well. Uh, so it never hurts to start out drilling that out with a metal bit and then widening it with a bit that is going to be do fine with the plastic but wouldn't be so happy after meeting the metal. Easiest thing that I've found after experimenting with taking the original hub off of the recoil starter and trying to attach bolts onto that. Where did I put it? <laughs> One minute here. Okay, sorry. When you start a project a month after, or when you go to finish a project a month after you started, it's easy to misplace a thing or two. Anyway, so instead of trying to put some bolts through this uh, original hub for the recoil starter. Um, you can see that it's rubbed off some orange plastic because it was rattling around loose in there. Um, it's just junk. Don't do that. Instead, find a loose wire brush, not the twisted, because they're usually hard to pull out. Uh, with the same diameter, um, I don't know what to call this part, anyway, with about the same diameter as this part of the hub for the recoil starter. Once you've got this, all you have to do is use some pliers and pull out the wire. And it actually comes out pretty easily. Just grab it there and twist apart. And, I'm sorry, I should clarify, it comes apart easily with the right pair of pliers. Um, needle nose pliers won't cut it, but it's uh, just pushed in there. Once you get that out, by and I do recommend wearing gloves, this stuff is pokey. Once you get it out, you get it out just by rotating and pulling up against the cup and uh, eventually it'll just pop out just like so and you can throw this part away and you can see that's close to the same size but not exactly and that doesn't really matter that it's not exactly the same size as long as it fits over the recoil starter pulse 
and the nut of the flywheel. You can see that will fit nicely. All you have to do is grind out four slots. Uh, I've seen some recoil starters that just have three or two, but grind it out so it matches, so they match up with the locking poles, and uh, that's the biggest thing that you need to do this easily. I also want to clarify, you want to make sure it's the same size or close to the same size as your original recoil starter hub, but you also want to make sure it's a decently thick metal. This one is a Forney brand. It was just what was available at my local Ace Hardware. Uh, you don't want to use one of the crappy Harbor Freight ones because that metal just isn't thick enough and it's uh, actually a double bell housing in there and won't pull apart the same way. So you'll want to make sure that the metal on the outer casing of this is thick enough to withstand the torque. Okay, and once you've cut those notches out, make sure it does fit as it should. See, it'll spin just as it should, but it catches just as it should too. And make sure that the hole in your flywheel cover is big enough for it to fit down through and centered. Then you're ready to go. So all you do at that point is put your flywheel cover back on. Take your electric drill of choice. This one is basically a hyped up DeWalt. Chuck up the bit. And for this engine, you need to have the drill run in reverse. That's all there is to it. It'll start up just fine once I've got it all put back together. I hope this helps. And uh, if you have anything else you'd like to see, or if you have any requests, feel free to leave a comment. If you have any suggestions to make this a more streamlined experience, leave a comment for anyone else as well. And stay safe out there.